Hi, my name is Stephanie. Thanks for joining me today. Stand and sing with me about God's love for us and how we can love like Him.
Job singing. Today, we're picking up where we left off in the Bible. For the past several months, we've been making our way through God's big story. We've seen how God sent Jesus to the world and how Jesus is the Savior who was promised. We've seen how Jesus lived a life of love and compassion. He taught amazing things about God and healed people who were sick. Eventually, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, then came back to life. After that, he spent time with his friends and followers. When Jesus returned to heaven, God sent the Holy Spirit to the believers to help them share the news about Jesus with others. The new church grew quickly as more and more people put their faith in Jesus as their savior. Today, we'll take a look at what happened with one of the believers named Philip. As you might remember, the religious leaders at the time weren't so happy that everyone was following Jesus because they didn't believe that Jesus was the son of God. So they tried to stop Jesus' followers from spreading the word about him. These religious leaders threw a lot of the believers in prison. Some people who were followers of Jesus were even killed. But still, the church continued to grow. The believers had confidence that wherever they were, God was with them. They moved out from Jerusalem and to a lot of other places in Judea and Samaria. Philip taught people about Jesus in Samaria. Sick people were healed through the power of the Holy Spirit, and many people became believers and were baptized. One day, God sent an angel to speak to Philip. The angel said to Philip, go south to the desert road. It's the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So Philip began to walk. As Philip traveled along the desert road, he met an official from Ethiopia. This man had an important job. He was in charge of the queen of Ethiopia's wealth. He believed in God and had journeyed all the way to Jerusalem to worship God there. He was on his way back home and he was sitting on his chariot reading the words of the prophet Isaiah. The Holy Spirit told Philip, go to that chariot, stay near it. So that's what Philip did. Philip heard that the Ethiopian official was reading scripture from the book of Isaiah and he asked the man if he understood what he was reading. The official said, how can I? I need someone to explain it to me. The official then invited Philip to sit with him. Here's what the official was reading. He was led like a sheep to be killed. Just as lambs are silent, while their wool is being cut off, he did not open his mouth. When he was treated badly, he was refused a fair trial. Who can say anything about his children? His life was cut off from the earth. Now, you can understand why the Ethiopian man was a bit confused. These were Isaiah's words that predicted the coming of the Messiah. Jesus had come to fulfill those words, but the Ethiopian man hadn't heard about Jesus yet. He said to Philip, tell me please, who is the prophet talking about, himself or someone else? As Philip and the official traveled down the road, Philip explained that Isaiah was talking about the promised savior and that Jesus is that savior. Philip then shared the entire story of Jesus with the man from Ethiopia. Philip explained how Jesus lived. He talked about the amazing miracles and things that Jesus taught. Then he told the man how Jesus had died and come back to life. Soon, they came to some water. The official said, look, here's water. What can stop me from being baptized? The man said to stop the chariot so that Philip could baptize him in the water. And that's what Philip did. This was a sign that from that day on, the official had decided to follow Jesus. Get this. Suddenly, God's spirit took Philip away. The Ethiopian official continued on his journey full of joy because of his faith in Jesus. In case you're wondering about Philip, he ended up in a town called Azotus. He kept traveling around and telling everyone the good news about Jesus. And that about does it for our story today. The man from Ethiopia had questions about what he was reading in scripture, but with God's help, 
Philip was able to help him understand. The truth is, all of us have questions, but that doesn't mean we can't live with confidence. Even when there are things we don't understand, we can be sure that God is with us. Remember our bottom line today. God is with you even when you have questions. Let's pray and thank God for being there to help us. God, thank you for being there for us, even when we have questions. I'm so grateful that because of Jesus, we can talk to you anywhere, anytime, about anything. Help us remember to live with confidence because we know that anytime we ask for help, you'll be with us. We love you. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Thanks for joining me today as we learn about confidence and how we can show God's love to others. Be sure to have your family head to our website at crosspointweb.org family for information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story along with ways to connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to Crosspoint's YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye now.